everyone, so today I'm back to do another fashion story video and today I'm going to be talking to you about a couple different things. I get a couple questions on what it's like to play on my iPad with a keyboard and it's actually really good, I'll show you guys in a second. And I'm going to be talking about the chest and also timing. I actually got this keyboard case from eBay for about $20, $25 I believe, not very expensive. So if you like playing on your iPad, definitely get a keyboard. It makes typing to people or typing on Facebook, doing emails, anything like that makes it super easy. So I'm just going to be replying to some people right now, I guess. I guess this will be like a kind of like a live commenting kind of thing. So this is one of my neighbors. I really like her. She's really nice. And this is her store. This is her avatar. Her name is Aisha. So she asked me, is your video going to be today? So I'm just gonna come back to her wall with my keyboard. So what's nice about this keyboard is that if you press the F3 button, it actually pulls up the keyboard onto the screen and you can actually put these emojis or icons up and type at the same time. So I'm going to reply to her. And if I hit the enter button, it posts a comment. So yeah, I really love using my keyboard just to respond to people and to do anything else I need to do on my iPad because I don't use it just use it for gaming. I also use it to take notes in school for my classes and to do emails when I'm on the go. It's just perfect. I know I said in my other videos that I don't really bring out my iPad too often, but now I'm starting to bring it like everywhere I go. So this is another one of my neighbors. And I'm going to reply to her. She asked me what my YouTube channel is, so I'm going to tell her two of my channels. And she said, I also watch your house tour. I really like the tour. So I actually did a house tour video on my main channel, so I'm going to put a link in the description box for you guys. So I'm just going to reply to her by hitting her wall. Alright, so I just want to give a shout out to a couple of people on my wall. They're really nice neighbors, so you guys should definitely check them out. Just come visit my wall and click on their username and make sure you add them. So I want to give a shout out to Fashion. Uh, X Swaggy Bees X. <laughs> Your name is so funny. Wish Come True. Love Candy. Fashionista XX. Benetton. Topshop Aisha. Sarah. And also Germoni. So I love these girls and my neighbors. They're super nice, super friendly. So you guys should definitely come check my wall out and go visit them and say hi. So basically what I mean by timing is by ordering stuff based on how long it takes to receive the item. And if you order based on timing, you usually won't forget when your stuff is going to be due or when it's going to be ready. So if I'm going to be playing this game before I go to bed or something, then I would order something that's about 8 to 12 hours long, maybe more than that. So by the time I wake up, all my stuff is ready for collection. And if I'm going to be like relaxing or like going to be playing the game actively, I'll order something that's maybe like an hour, two hours, or 30 minutes. If I'm in school and I have a break in between classes or something like that, I would order something that's about four to five hours because classes usually take a while and then you don't want to give yourself too little time but you want to give yourself just enough so I think if you're like playing this game in school then something that's about four to five hours or something like that would be a good time to order so yeah basically by your schedule is how you should order stuff I think I think it's much easier that way all right, so now I'm gonna be talking to you a little about the chests, and this one I got from the summer chest. This is called the Catch the Wave, and it's like a little decor. I got it for 24 gems. That's how much every chest takes to open. And I also got this tropical display from the summer chest. And I replaced the heart windows with these paintings. This is the garden painting, and this is another flowery wall decoration and I moved the heart windows over here. I got the heart windows a really long time ago. From my knowledge, I don't think you can order them anymore. So I just got those like ages ago. And actually something I ordered is ready now. So I'm going to be putting the flower gowns out. I really like these big white bags. So I'm going to just order two of them. Takes about an hour. So this is my new avatar right now. I have the sailor dress on and the 
straw toe I have these starfish sandals and some pebbled clutch I think this outfit goes really cute together and I have about 2 million coins and 45 gems I give a lot of tips on how to save gems and coins in my other videos so definitely go check those out and I really hope they come out with some new stuff I could buy for summer because I have so much money and I don't want to do another expansion yet I think my store is a really good size right now so right now for wall decoration, I think I either want to buy the seahorse wall decoration or buy the towel rack for my yoga section. They're both 15 gems each, but I think I'm only going to buy one for now. Okay, so I'm going to purchase the seahorse wall decoration and just put it over here. I think it looks good there. Or maybe move it down one. Tap again to buy. And I just bought another wall decoration. For the towel rack, I'll probably put it here or here or something like that. So I'm just going to collect some more likes. So if you hit design in the bottom right corner and you go to this expansion button, here is where all the different chests are. And each chest will give you like a random item based on which one you opened. One thing I do want to mention about opening chests is please be careful when you're going through the menu because if you just tap something, it'll just spend your 24 gems and buy it automatically. The game doesn't really ask you to tap again to buy it or like, are you sure? You just tap it once and then your 24 gems are gone and then you get an item. So please be careful when you're going through the list. Just press the arrow or something like that so you don't buy a chest that you don't want. I've actually emailed support at teamlava.com. I'll put their email over here or something like that. but. I think there's a lot of things you need to change this game. First of all, make it so that we can get gems with money, like trade it in or something like that. And also, give us an option to make sure if we want to buy a chest or not. And I think maybe just, you know, something else for gifts would be nice. Something a little bit different because we had the red sweater, pants, the shoes, and that spring handbag for like since the beginning of the game. So I think a different kind of gift would be just be nice to look at. I'm really glad you guys like these fashion story videos. I love making them for you guys. It's super fun. So this is what my store looks like right now. I try to keep everything stocked as much as possible. I always order yoga stuff so I keep this section totally stocked. I think it looks super pretty. And for the sections with the four hangers, I try to put four of the same types of items in every single hanger so it looks organized. Here is my blossom um, floral section here. I always try to order red, white, or pink stuff. Here I try to order like things organized so I have two bags, shoes down here. In this section I order mostly pink stuff. And then the two rows I have here I just try to keep it organized as well. So in my other video I said I'll be doing videos every Monday or Friday. I think I can't do a video twice a week for Fashion Story but I could do videos every other week or every week on either Monday or Friday. But I do update on my main fashion and beauty channel every two or three days so definitely go check that out and thank you guys so much for the patience I've been getting a lot of comments saying oh it's Friday and you haven't made a video and I'm really sorry about that but I'm just letting you guys know I'm probably gonna do a video every once a week or every other week for fashion story so thank you guys again so much for the support and patience all right, well, that's pretty much it for this fashion story video. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the section below, and I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll just see you guys later. Bye!